times. Cosmo context. Hello, Chicho. I have a question about renting versus home buying. I know it depends on many factors, but does it ever make sense to rent for a long period of time? Or is it financially irresponsible if you have the means to buy a home? No, it is not financially irresponsible if you have the means to buy a home if you decide to rent. For example, if you're thinking about personal finance and investing, when you buy a home, you're carrying a huge debt so your liquidity is sort of not there if all of a sudden huge investment opportunities pop up for you right so for example it basically is about return on investment right let's assume you buy a home like a lot of people say you should buy a home return on investment right you can control a lot of money by having a little that's the only advantage by the way for buying a home because you can go into the the banks will give you ton of debt for minimum down payment, right? 5% it used to be in Canada, it's 10% or something. So let's assume it's 10%. So let's assume you, you're going to buy a million dollar home, right? In Canada, it was 5%, right? So if you're going to buy a million dollar home, the banks would loan you the money, okay, as long as you put 5% down, if you had good credits, right? And if you had job and you could show all the stuff you got co-signers so for fifty thousand dollars you could control a million dollars now you don't own that million dollars right the bank owns it that's just you they've agreed to loan it to you right and you're paying interest on it for 20 years 25 years 30 years some, some people actually sign 30 year mortgages right so if you have that right let's assume an opportunity comes up for you to invest money somewhere and by the way you're paying interest you're paying mortgage on this and all this jazz let's assume an opportunity comes up for you to buy something at very cheap value right but you don't have the capital to do it you have to go get a second mortgage on your home which means you're going to more debt you're going to pay more interest right now just imagine if you didn't buy that you're paying rent right you got no overhead other than your rent pipe burst call the landlord right roof leaking call the landlord uh dishwasher breaks call the landlord right landlord in my area has to come and sweep the driveway of snow right they have to do gardening you got zero responsibility and you're not a million dollars in debt or nine hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt you got fifty thousand dollars in the bank and if you have good credit enough credit to buy a million dollar home it means you can get more money all of a sudden opportunity comes up for example a year ago when the stock market dropped 30 percent there was a lot of cheap things to buy so you go borrow another fifty thousand dollars or you just take your fifty thousand dollars and dump it into this 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 cannabis stocks this 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 right now if you invested in cannabis stocks from six months ago right eight months ago your money of fifty thousand dollars would have been anywhere between half a million to 1.5 million right who those people that say the home is the best investment you can make in your life are talking bs okay it might be the largest investment or largest opportunity for you to go into debt in one lump sum yes was it a good idea to buy a home sure if you can get it a good deal and you're going to sit in there for a while and if you're going to live long term like 30 years in one place maybe right sure sure buy a home right now depending on where you are certain land prices house prices are through the roof right and it really depends on when you're buying for example those people who bought into the bubble in the 1980s in the housing market in western canada right would have had to wait 20 years to get their money back 20 years to get your money back for the value of your property to be the same level it was before okay well that was in the 1980s well just imagine if you bought microsoft stock back then right so no it really depends on your own personal uh personal financial needs 
right if you're raising a family and you can't have a landlord saying oh i want to do renovation they want to renovate to evict you so they can raise the rent right if you got no rent control in your area or if you have rent control in your area right then yeah sure there's a certain amount of stability that comes with owning a property right there's more of a financial burden you're less liquid right you have less maneuverability okay it really depends